Hey everyone, my name is Paula and welcome to Relatively Refined. In today's video, we are going to talk all things autumn and how to thrift for some beautiful autumn decor to make your home cozy and fall ready. Let's get started. So I went to my mailbox the other day and I was so excited to see the autumn issue of um, Cottage Journal magazine was in there. And this magazine is chock a block full of beautiful fall inspiration. And that got me thinking about getting my home ready for fall. I love fall. Um, it is probably 100 degrees here in South Carolina today, so it's not very fall like at all. But I'm getting ready to go back to school next week. Um, actually, it'll be this week when you see this video, I'll have started school. And in my mind, that was always the beginning of fall when school starts. I grew up in a family of educators. So for me, the new year is really in September, August and September when the st start of the school year is instead of January when most people think of the new year. My years go from September to August. <laughs> um, but anyway, I love the fall. It's always been my favorite season. I don't know if that's because I'm a September baby or because growing up in Vermont, it was just such a gorgeous time of year there. The weather was perfect. The fall colors were gorgeous. There was apple picking. School started. I loved school. Just all kinds of great things happened in the fall. So I thought it would be fun to talk to you and share with you 10 things that or items or categories of items that you can thrift for at your thrift store to get your home ready for fall. And these are all things that are readily available in most thrift stores and are not usually that expensive. So 10 categories, thrifty ways to make your home fall beautiful. As you know, from time to time on the channel, my sisters and I like to share with you products that we have found that we enjoy and that we feel are worth the money, that they're a good value for the money that you invest in them. And I've been on the hunt for a handbag for quite some time. And my sister Patty in a video, oh, maybe a month or so ago, talked about Teddy Blake handbags. And I have to tell you that I agree with everything she had to say. Teddy Blake makes a beautiful bag. I selected this gorgeous navy blue. It's actually called Blue Jeans is the color. It's the Ava Gold small bag. It can come as a little handle. It also works as a cross body bag. It's absolutely beautiful. And what I love is that it's luxury Italian leather, but not at a luxury price. So. I highly encourage you to check out Teddy Blake. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Right now they're having their summer sale so you can get some great deals if you're in the market for a purse. Like I said, I love blue, but there are so many colors and so many styles that there is something for everyone. So go ahead and check out that link in the description box. Um, I can't recommend highly enough these bags. They are beautiful leather. The color, the selection is everything that you want in a purse. I chose this in the small, but honestly, it comes in, I think, three different sizes or maybe just small and large. I can't remember exactly, but this small is plenty and big enough for what I need. It has one interior pocket, and actually that works well for me because I don't like to have too many pockets in my bag. I sort of forget where I put things. So having the one large pocket with the small inner zipper is ideal for me. It has these beautiful gold clasps and the fact that it can be crossbody or a handbag, kind of a, a wrist bag, perfect. So go ahead and check out Teddy Blake. As I mentioned, the description um, box will hold a link for you to use and take advantage of their summer sale. All right, let's get started on our video. All right, I have stuff spread out all over my table here, um, and I will try to insert a little clip of just what it looks like because it's like just an explosion of fall decor on my table. And I have my notes about the 10 categories because you know, after a certain age, it's a little tough to remember exactly what it was you wanted to say. So I've got some cheat sheets down here with all 10 categories written down. But 
The first category that I want to talk with you about are warm wood tones. Um, you know, the colors of autumn are some of my favorite colors. I have them in my home, a lot of them year round, but warm wood tones, adding wood tones to your home in the fall just gives you that sense of cozy. And wooden items are generally in abundance at the thrift store. I'm going to share with you, let me pull it over here, some things that I have found at the thrift store for not very much money that are warm wood tones. The first is something I found just the other day, which is one of these accordion racks. It was $2.99 and these are beautiful to hang on a wall and then from each of these pegs you can hang some beautiful decor. You can hang baskets, you can hang flowers, you can hang textiles, all kinds of things. And you can find these very often um, at thrift stores. I, I see them from time to time. And like I said, this was $2.99, so quite affordable. The other thing that I have seen at thrift stores are wooden bowls. Let me reach over here. <laughs> I'm gonna be reaching a lot, I'm sorry. I should have organized this better. Um, but I found a set of these wooden salad bowls at my thrift store and they were not expensive at all. I think I paid maybe about $4 for the four of them. And using these um, on your table to serve out of just kind of gives you again that cozy feeling. So warm wood tones is the first category. There are also wooden candlesticks that you can find, wooden sconces, um, little wooden plaques. And if I can find some pictures of what I'm talking about, I'll try to insert those in here. But warm wood tones is category number one. All right, category number two is cozy lighting. And by cozy lighting, I'm talking either candles which is a wonderful adds a wonderful cozy ambiance to your home and you can easily find candles and candlesticks at the thrift store um, i have candlesticks throughout my home that i use and i will insert some footage here of what i'm talking about when i say candles and candlesticks but let me just show you um, a couple of candles now these i bought on clearance at joanne's last year in these beautiful fall tones, these candles. So just swapping out, maybe if you've got candles that are white, swapping them out for, um, you know, fall toned candles is awesome. You can find all kinds of um, interesting lighting fixtures and lamps, little tiny lamps that you can put around your house to create that kind of cozy glow rather than using your overhead lights just inserting little small lamps. And I've got some little lamps and there's one right there behind me that I just put in various places around my home. And when you turn those on in the evening as it's getting dark, they give a beautiful cozy glow. So I'll put some footage of that lamp in here so you can see up close what I'm talking about. So we've got warm wood tones and we've got cozy lighting. Category number three <clears throat> is textiles. You may recall in a haul um, a few weeks back, I found these beautiful uh, tea towels, new in package. I think they were from Williams Sonoma, possibly, in these beautiful fall colors. So you, I've got summer ones hanging right there. And later in this video, I'm going to show some clips of how I add these fall touches throughout my home, but just simply swapping out those blue and white tea towels for these fall colors makes a big impact. And it's very inexpensive. These were a couple of dollars at the thrift store. The other thing you can find are napkins, cloth napkins. In this, I've got these, I found these. This was a set of four napkins for $2 in this beautiful cream color, which is a wonderful transition from summer to fall. So we use cloth napkins here. I'll swap out my blue and white summer napkins for these beautiful fall toned, I mean, kind of wheat colored napkins. I also have found them in this beautiful check. Um, kind of a, again, like these, these uh, neutral tones for fall, I absolutely love. The other thing that you can often find at thrift stores are table linens, you know, tablecloths. Now, I found this one, and this one, um, for many people, might say seem like a summer tablecloth, but to me, 
apples are fall. So I think this would be beautiful on a fall table with some greens and golds. Absolutely beautiful. And again, this was, I thrifted for just a few dollars. I've thrifted um, another tablecloth for, again, for a few dollars. It has these beautiful fall um, pine cones. And I use this on my table at Thanksgiving, but certainly you could use this at any time during the autumn. It has those gorgeous autumn colors. Beautiful. Um, and again, I'll try to insert some footage if I can find it of what this looks like, in, you know, set on a table for fall. Um, bureau scarves or table runners i found this um this was a gift from my mom this gorgeous table runner and it has these beautiful fall tones in it so just adding little touches of color swapping out your blue and white or whatever colors you use in the summer for some autumn tones is another way to bring some autumn feelings and autumn touches to your home for not very much money like i said Usually thrift stores will have a lot of um, textiles. Textiles also can include pillows, throw pillows. I found these pillows just the other day at my thrift store. They, are, they were 99 cents each. And look at these gorgeous colors. I don't know, pillows are 99 cents at my Goodwill. So beautiful. And these zip off and can be washed. And there were a pair of them. So for $2... Look at these beautiful autumn toned pillows. Absolutely gorgeous. Making a big difference in your house to swap out your summer pillows, throw pillows for these. I have some kind of pink and white ones on my couch for summer. I'm gonna swap them out for these beautiful fall toned pillows. So textiles is category number three. The fourth category, and this is something that every thrift store usually has in abundance, is baskets. Baskets add a beautiful natural element. They're usually in these gorgeous colors that are very evocative of fall. These baskets that I'm holding up right now, all of these um, were 99 cents each. Actually, this one may even have been less because I found this at um, the Goodwill Bins, which is an outlet center where everything is by the pound. So it was a dollar a pound on the day I went. And this, I doubt this even weighs a pound. It's probably, it was probably 50 cents. So baskets throughout your house, you can fill them with, I put my napkins in there. You can put dried florals. You can just set them around, maybe put a plant or a mum or something in them. Baskets are available in every thrift store. I have yet to go to a thrift store that didn't have a huge basket section. So this is another thing that you can add to your home for fall very inexpensively and is readily available at most thrift stores. So that is category number four, baskets. Category number five is warm toned metals. And by that, I mean the metals like copper and bronze that are very warm toned. Silver is more to me is more is Christmas or maybe more summertime. But the warmer toned metals like copper and brass and bronze are things that I think of as fall kinds of metals. And they're usually also in abundance in a thrift store. Now, recently I have found several items um, that are copper or bronze. One of them is this beautiful, ooh, sorry about that, the glare, but this beautiful copper tray. And this was $3.99. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this would look great on a, as a centerpiece on your table, on a coffee table, or even propped up on an easel. It's absolutely beautiful. And this warm copper adds such a cozy feeling to your house. And that's really what you're going for when you're decorating for fall. I do the bulk of my decorating between... Um, September and December. I do fall, I do Halloween, and I do Christmas. The rest of the year, my house pretty much stays the same. I don't do specific decorating for spring or Easter. I might put out a few little tchotchkes or, um, you know, maybe a, uh, what are those called? Tea towel or something like that. But generally speaking, from January to September, my house stays pretty much the same. The bulk of my decorating is the fall and holiday season. So again, warm, warm metals. This beautiful um, 
almost mid-century looking fruit bowl. It is kind of a gold toned brass. It's beautiful, has these little feet. I love this. I can see some fruit or some um, textiles, napkins, cloth napkins in there on a table. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that the cutest little basket? I love this. It was 99 cents at my Goodwill. Absolutely love it. Some other things I've shown before in previous hauls, and I'll try to link those um, in my uh, cottage style thrift hauls, these beautiful copper and wood <laughs> glog cups. They're Scandinavian glog cups. I always laugh when I say that. <laughs> and I think I mentioned my dad, um, my dad was a big fan of having a beautiful tabletop. My sister Patty mentioned that in her, pre in her last video, which I will try to remember to link over here maybe. Um, so he always wanted to have, you know, the right dishware, the right glasses for the right occasion or the right beverage. So dad, <laughs> I have the glog cups and I know you would be proud of me for having these at the ready in case we serve glog. Um, let's see what, oh, uh, brass. Now brass candlesticks, um, are generally, um, in almost all thrift stores that I've ever been in, I've seen a brass candlestick. I found these beautiful brass candlesticks in the shape of leaves, um, which are perfect for fall. And I think I got um, four, four set, no, two sets of two. So four candlesticks for $3.99. So they were about a dollar each. Beautiful. Um, also this gorgeous brass bowl, I hauled this recently and again, such a warm glow it adds to your tabletop or anywhere in your house that you want to um, to put it. And you know, bowls are multifunctional. You can put it on your countertop with some fruit. You can put it as a centerpiece with florals on your table. You can add textiles in it. Dish, you know, have a dish towel or a tea towel coming out or your cloth napkins. All of these things add that warm, cozy feeling. Um, I also recently thrifted these beautiful copper canisters. There's two of them. One, the uh, sugar one is inside, but even just as decor, um, these add a beautiful cozy feeling to your home. And like I said, they are readily available at most thrift stores. I, almost every thrift store I've ever gone in, there's some form of brass or copper or um, bronze on the shelf somewhere, usually a candlestick, which also goes with category number one, which is our category two, which was cozy lighting. All right, so warm toned metals was category, what are we on? Let me check my notes here. <laughs> category number five, I told you, I had, to, I had to write things down because after a certain point, there's just too much in my brain and it's just not gonna work for me. So I'm looking at my cheat sheet. So category five, warm toned metals. Category number six is natural elements, like dried florals. Um, another example of natural element would be like this kind of twig ball, or um, I have these pheasant feathers that I use, and I do have some dried florals, so I will insert um, a clip of some florals that I use in the fall. And those are oftentimes readily available at thrift stores, and if you live in an area where um, you know you have access to natural elements like in your yard you can go out and you can clip some beautiful fall leaves even just branches or twigs in an urn or in a vase makes a beautiful fall statement intersperse some dried flowers some pheasant feathers and it, it's absolutely beautiful um, a brass or a bronze uh, vase with some dried florals, some feathers, some twigs is an absolutely stunning fall arrangement and often can be put together for pennies. Also, sometimes at thrift stores, you'll find um, dried florals and they might be in an ugly container and you can just buy them for the florals and get rid of the container. Or sometimes you'll find a beautiful container that has ugly florals and you can, you know, <laughs> do the opposite. But again, natural elements are readily available outside if you live in an area where you have access to nature and also at thrift stores. I very often see um, fall arrangements and maybe not all of the florals are beautiful, but you can get one for pretty inexpensively, a, an arrangement, and then you can pick and choose the florals that you want to use um, in your home. So that 
is category number six, natural elements. Category number seven is something that I have no shortage of, and that is dishware. And no thrift store has a shortage of dishware. They are usually packed to the gills with dishware at most thrift stores. But just swapping out some little accent dishes around your house with fall tone dishes is a great and very inexpensive way to add fall touches to your home. Um, these little plates were a gift um, from one of our viewers for me, and they are absolutely gorgeous. And it's these, there are two of them, these little tiny plates, and I'm just going to use them to put a candle on, and they just add a gorgeous little touch of fall. The other thing is um, I've got some mugs. Our mugs are usually in, you know, tons of mugs at every thrift store I've ever been in. And if you choose some that have some fall colors and you swap them out in your coffee bar, absolutely wonderful way and very inexpensive way to add fall touches to your home. This little cabin fever mug, just precious brown drip glaze mugs. Both of these were 59 cents each at my Goodwill. And I'm going to hang them in my coffee bar and replace my little blueberry um, themed mugs that I have now for summer. And it will be absolutely beautiful. I found this little creamer also recently for 99 cents. Again, in your coffee bar. How cute is that? You could even put little tiny florals in there. It would be beautiful. And then this dish right here I found at my thrift store for 59 or 99 cents and it's got these gorgeous fall tones in it. Plates, cups, saucers, all of those things are readily available at the thrift store. Um, crockery, look at, I mean, these beautiful fall tones. I love these. It's a wonderful way, very inexpensive way to add fall touches to your home. I'm going to share with you some plates. These plates, beautiful fall colors on them. They were 99 cents each. I got six of them. So just simply replacing the white dinnerware that we use the rest of the year with these kind of fall toned plates is a fun way, again, and very affordable way to bring some fall touches to your home. I'm going to reach one more time and show you these really cute teacups and other little tiny plates that I found just the other day at the thrift store. And they are um, just so cute and such little, such fall colors. Look at the colors on this little teacup. It's made in England. And there were two of them. There were no saucers, but so adorable. Again, just sipping my morning coffee or tea out of these in the fall just makes me feel cozy. And then finally, in the dishware department, make sure none of this falls, for 59 cents each, I got these two little plates. And look at the fall colors in these plates. Absolutely beautiful. And they are Staffordshire Ironstone in antique rose pattern. Just love them. And again, you can use these to display a candle on. You could just set a stack of them on a side table just as decor very inexpensive and very beautiful and readily available at almost every thrift store I've ever been in. So that is category <laughs> number seven is dishware. Category number eight is trinkets or tchotchkes or just kind of decor that doesn't necessarily, you know, serve any other purpose besides just being decorative. And you can find a lot of that at thrift stores. If you like little false signs, if you like little figurines, all of those things are typically readily available at thrift stores and for usually very um, good prices, very inexpensive or very affordable. So I'm just going to share a few things that I've recently thrifted. Um, you've seen these in other um, thrift halls, but one is this adorable little miniature tea set with these I, 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 so cute, the little pumpkin tea uh, pot, the little cluster of grapes or ra uh, blackberries um, are the little teacups. There's a gourd that's the creamer and then an acorn that is the sugar dish. I mean, 
It's so stinking cute and it's all on a fall leaf. I mean, this really is just nothing other than adorable decor. Oh, I'm sorry. And, um, you know, I love miniatures. So this was right up my alley. Another thing that you can find sometimes are brass figurines. This little brass pheasant um, and then this little brass owl I found at the thrift store. This is actually, I think the owl is a, a salt and pepper shaker, but this is just decorative. And they were, you know, a dollar or two each. And these are some things that you can kind of tuck around in your house in little spots just to add that little touch of fall. This, And again, this these are those warmed toned metals as well. And then even though the robin is typically, you know, the harbinger of spring, as you learn in school, I just felt like this little figurine had those kind of moody fall colors. And you put a little candle in there and it gives a warm glow. Again, a couple of dollars, not expensive at all. Um, another thing that is decorative, but um, is also, you know, not just um, a tchotchke, are these really cute uh, terracotta garlic bakers. And again, you can use it to bake garlic or you can just set it out um, as a piece of decor and it's really quite beautiful. I absolutely love them. And I found this recently at a thrift store. So that is category number eight, trinkets or tchotchkes. Category number nine is artwork. Now that's also something that is totally in abundance at thrift stores. Now, not all of it is great, <laughs> but sometimes you come across some artwork that is really beautiful. And usually it's pretty affordable at the thrift store and it usually comes framed and ready to go. So if you um, look through the artwork all year round at your thrift store, you're bound to find some pictures or paintings or prints that have fall themes to them or fall colors, autumn colors. And um, for example, you know, sometimes you can find a moody oil painting or a paint by number. And it's really fun to, you know, swap out the artwork in your house and that can have a big impact. Now, as I said, in my home, I love fall colors. So we have a lot of artwork hanging around our house that already has those fall tones, but it is fun. Like this, as I said, this one, I'm gonna swap out. I might put this somewhere in my kitchen, um, but that's a great way to bring some fall touches to your house at an affordable price. And if I remember to, hopefully I will, I will insert a clip of some pieces of art that I've seen recently at a thrift store that would be you know, perfect for fall. Um, I forgot to mention with the dried florals, like wreaths is another thing that you often see at a thrift store. For some reason in my thrift store, they often keep the wreaths with the artwork. I guess maybe because it's things you hang, but that's what triggered that memory for me. I hear you, Phoebe. Phoebe is jumping around over by her treats. I made some homemade dog treats and they are obsessed with them. I, I should probably do like a little video short on them. They were super easy to make and the dogs love them. Oh, there goes Hazel. She's heading over to the, <laughs> to the treat jar. Um, so that was, let's see what we got. Category number nine is artwork. And finally, category number 10, and I'm sure there are many more categories of things that you could think of, but the ones that I thought of, category number 10 is books. Books are in abundance at thrift stores, and you can purchase them for usually a couple of dollars each. And they don't have to be books that you want to read necessarily, but you can buy books. Hold on, Phoebe. You can buy books in fall toned colors and you can use them as risers for other kinds of decor. You can use them just as decorative accents, you know, around your house. Um, a, just a quick example is this cookbook I found. It's called Cooking French. It's beautiful. And look at the gorgeous fall tones. Um, I, I couldn't resist it. Now it was a paperback book. So I think it was like maybe $1.99 at my thrift store, but the, the picture is absolutely beautiful on the front of it. And just setting this out on a countertop, you know, in place of, I have a summer cookbook on my counter right now, putting this on my counter instead of that summer book is a wonderful way to add some fall touches to the kitchen at, 
you know, for $2. You can't beat that. You, what can you buy at Hobby Lobby for $2? Not a whole lot, even on sale. Their prices are very, very high. So I'll also insert some clips of other books that I have around my home that have a fall, you know, kind of color palette to them. Here's another example of some books that you could find. Now these books, you know, I got because look at how beautiful that gold is. That's a very warm, kind of a cozy feeling that that sort of forest green color, very fall seeming to me. And again, just look, you know, take the dust jackets off of books. Sometimes underneath the dust jacket, they have some beautiful colors. So books is my 10th and final category <laughs> of items that you can find at the thrift store for not very much money that will bring loads of fall touches and fall feeling, that cozy feeling to your home this autumn. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to now insert some footage of some swaps that I made in my home to bring some fall touches to it, even though, like I said, it's probably 100 degrees out today. But since I'm back at school, I wanted to get my house ready for fall while I had a few minutes. And as I said, it's my favorite season, so I don't mind starting early. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss the fall touches I'm adding to my house. Here's a quick before of my mugs in my coffee bar area. And this is what I switched them out to. And you can see that I used some of those fall toned mugs and I have my little crock with the butterscotch handled flatware in it. And it just makes a huge difference without spending a lot of money or doing a whole lot. On the other side of my coffee pot, um, I have my spoons in this Dundee marmalade jar that's kind of old and crazed. And then I have that mushroom canister, again, very much in the fall color palette. And then as I mentioned earlier in the video, I did swap out my blue and white tea towels for these really beautiful fall colored ones. And what a difference that makes just in my whole mood when I look at them. I love those autumn colors. Here's a before of my countertop, and this is what I swapped it out to. I put the copper Moscow Mule mugs and that beautiful cooking French cookbook there. And then of course on my Nora Fleming, I switched out the charm to the little pumpkin charm. That's really all I did at that part of my countertop. Here's a before at the other side of my stove. And then I swapped it out for this, which is a pumpkin platter and those cute little mushroom salt and pepper shakers. And then bringing in that warm copper, I have my copper tea kettle on the stove and maybe, oh, Hazel, Hazel's about to bark. It never fails. When I go to make a recording, the dogs go crazy. That is the fall courier knives platter that I have up over my stove and I switched that out for the seasons. And then on this side of the kitchen, there is that beautiful Italian dish, and I use it as a candle holder or a little underplate for my candle. I have some warm terracotta. There's another little lamp that gives off a cozy glow in the evening. And then I have a Japanese stoneware platter in those beautiful autumn colors behind my plant. I also switched out the underplate for the plant and I used one of those beautiful fall plates. I got six of them and since the three older kids are not at home full time, there are just three of us here. So I figured I could spare one of those plates and use it under the plant. So that's what I did to bring some little fall feelings to that side of the kitchen. Then on my table, I have this really cool wooden table, I mean placemat as a base and I put that mid-century modern basket there in the center with my orange and white checked napkins. I used those brass candlesticks in the shape of leaves. I used the kind of golden colored candles and then of course in my Nora Fleming salt and pepper shakers I have the little pine cone charm. On the desk near the back door I have that little miniature tea set you can see I incorporated the pheasant feathers in a green glass brandy snifter, the green and gold books, and then of course, for some cozy ambiance, I have a candle inside of a hurricane glass, 
and I used a golden colored candle. Here's a close up of that beautiful brandy snifter, the pheasant feathers. And then on the other side of the desk, I have the little brass pheasant and the owl just kind of tucked in there. Just a little fun hint of fall on that side. To the left of that desk, I added a basket with some beautiful dried florals in it. And then I incorporated the natural elements by using that twig ball. And that little cabin you see is actually made of clay and it's a tea light holder. And you can put a tea light in there and it's so pretty at night when you light that candle and it get that very nice glow. And then of course I have some books and, and a fall toned sepia painting back there. And then I swapped out the pillows on these chairs for those beautiful fall colored pillows that I recently thrifted. I think they look so pretty against the blue and white of the chairs. And then I replaced the white bird cage that I had on that dresser with that beautiful fall floral arrangement. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video gave you some fall inspiration. Um, we do not have a relatively refined segment today, so if you would like us to feature some of your thrifted treasures in an upcoming video, do send us um, an email to um, relativelyrefined at gmail.com. I'll put that down here and include a picture and a description, and we will share that with our viewers in an upcoming video. But just a couple of announcements. As my sister Patty mentioned in her last video, we do now have a website. It's relativelyrefined.com. And on that website, we have a blog where we share, um, you know, written versions of some of our videos and also some other content there. So if you want to look up a paint color or a recipe, we will include those in our blog. And those we publish, we try to do twice a month. And we also have an online shop right there through our website. And what we've decided to do, you know, I've, it's my mission to rescue all of these beautiful treasures from the landfill. I have to tell you, the other day I was in Goodwill and there was a worker who was there with a buggy and um, he, she was clearing the, sh the shelf. It was a glassware and she was just kind of throwing all the glassware into this buggy and I could hear it just breaking and shattering in this box. So I asked her, I said, what are you doing? And she said, this has been sitting here, you know, it hasn't moved. So we're just making room for other things. And I said, is this going to the landfill? And she said, yes. Oh, it broke my heart. So I quickly scanned the shelf to see what there was there that I could rescue. And I did grab a few things, but I feel like it is my mission in life to keep these beautiful treasures out of the landfill. So what we decided to do was um, probably once a month, the first Friday I'm thinking of the month, we will drop new um, treasures in our shop um, that is linked through our website. And I'll have that down in the description box below. But um, there will be some beautiful things for um, fall in the September drop. It's called the Autumn Home is the theme of the collection. And some of the things that I've shown you today that I've thrifted will probably be in that drop. I know for sure, like, for example, these um, copper canisters will be in the drop. Um, one, I found two garlic bakers. I don't need two. So one of them will be in the drop. Um, let me see what else is going to be in there. I think probably because as you know, I don't need any more dishware, but <laughs> these teacups and those beautiful little plates that I showed you, and there will be some other things that, um, will be in that drop as well. I may, um, try to do a, a video just as a preview, or maybe I'll do a little Instagram story. So be sure to follow us on Instagram. I'll put the, um, Instagram handle down here and link it in the description box as well. So that's very exciting for us. We're hoping to do a drop once a month. We try to keep our prices very reasonable. We just, you know, just enough to cover what we paid for the item 
setting up the shop and keeping the channel running. So um, we appreciate those folks who have already purchased items through the shop. And um, thank you for your support. We, it really means the world to us. And as I said, I'm just trying to rehome these beautiful treasures and keep them out of the landfill and pass them along to other people who appreciate them the way that, that I do and that I know that all of you do as well. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.